you know, I've been doing this. Sorry about the lighting. Excuse me. A bit. I've been doing this vehicle dwelling thing for about 10 years or more. And, uh, man, and I, I was doing it before it was a thing. Van lights and this and laptops by the ocean. I'm just a construction worker. And I saw it as a means of saving the most money as possible. I'm single, divorced, all that. And so I saw it because at the time I was on child support. So I saw it as a means of saving the most money possible to where I can still enjoy my life by swap. Stay right there. Up. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. So what back to the story. I saw it as a means of saving the most money in that I could or having a means to put some money aside and still have money to enjoy my life. I post child support, same thing. And uh, I travel, I go from city to city, state to state. You guys see on uh, my channel, if you're subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel while you're at it. I appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, for all those, shameless plug, for all those who are capable and would like to and are generous, uh, you can uh, donate to the cash app at cash tag vanman1023 okay anyway now I saw this as a means of uh, you know like I'm saying seeing the country living as cheap as possible and uh, that's what I've been doing, and I've been doing it, I continue to do it. Um, now, currently in Minnesota, and uh, it's the place of, it's a land, the land of, uh, on the license plate it says, the land of 10,000 lakes, and I believe it. That every, just about every park has water. Or I won't say every part, but man, it's no, it's it's nothing to Google the park, and it's something Lake Park, and the park is by some water, and it's beautiful. And uh, I had never been to Minnesota; it's been my first time, and uh, I gotta mark this in my mind. I got, I got, I got mark this. Got bookmark this place is uh, a. I don't know right now. I'm, I've been in the good part, the nice parts. I ain't trying to find the hood parts nowhere. But I've been. It's natural. It's, it's green, a lot greener than I expect. It's kind of like Michigan. Because they're known for the harsh winters, like here. And uh, But surprisingly, they can be green. It's a lot of water here. And uh, as people come back from fishing now, I just saw. Uh, some Asian folk, uh, a family, man, they drew like a 15 pound catfish up out there. Now, getting back to the subject of, uh, I saw them Asian folk, they drew a big catfish up out there. <clears throat> and 
See me, I'm from the South. Tennessee to be exact. And you know, man, we brought up on that fishing, hunting, you know, trapping or whatever. I knew trapping, but I can't. And uh, on all that, we got, man, deer, possum, coon, bear, uh, nigga, what? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's an outdoorsy, it's an outdoorsy state. And my pop was old school. He was a country boy. So you know what I do. My dad didn't teach me how to fish, but I learned how to fish, you know, because I watched, uh, Bill, 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 Bill Hall. It's not Bill Hall, but the show that Bill Hall was on, then Bill Hall got his own, later on, R.I.P. Bill Hall. Uh, WSMV, Channel 4 Nashville, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he got his own thing, but I don't want to say Bill Dance. But anyway, they fishing. So fishing, fishing, man, is very, it's basic, man. It's one of the most basic ways that man can feed himself. Because, man, all it take, man, is a line, some bait. A lot of time, man, just something shining, depending on where you are and what kind of fish you're looking for. But what I'm saying is one of the most basic ways to uh, feed yourself. And it trips me out that I think a lot of our generation, well, I'm going to say, I'm going to speak specifically for, uh, and I don't know, hit me in the comments and let me know. But I'm speaking specifically for black folk. This ain't nothing racial, nothing to, this ain't nothing, man. This is just like speaking to, I'm speaking to people who look like me right now. And people who don't look like me, you're welcome to join in, man, and watch this video. This ain't nothing, ain't bashing nobody, nothing, man. We just having a, uh, uh, I, think I, I got to speak to what I know. Okay. So what I'm saying is, I uh, think we've gotten away a lot, uh, gotten away from a lot. They come out right. We've gotten away from the natural part, the sustenance, the uh, if that's the correct word, the, 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 man, the main, the basics, you know what I'm saying, of how to survive, man, uh, we're, I won't even get off into what herbs and berries and stuff to eat, uh, but you can Google and educate yourself on that now. Uh, but just the simple things to learn how to, the simple things of baiting a hook. Baiting a hook, uh, you don't have to go and get, it's about dusk. Water's getting calmer. Uh, excuse me now. Mm. Yeah, I'm finna hit the water right out here. It's a little lake right here. Well, this this is a park, but. Uh, Water right here. So 
try to make sure I don't mess with mess up the camera. That right there. It's all about the wind. Try to get out of that sun right there. But I'm probably going to fish off of right there somewhere. There's a dock over there, but... I think them people left, but I don't know. I'm finna go over there anyway because uh, it's, it's dusk. And you know, it's about time that the fish start to bite and I'm just chilling, enjoying my weekend. But I wanted to make this video. If I said all that to say this, our kids have gotten away from Learning the basics, baiting the hook. Uh, man, we made it. Gotta watch what I say on this. You know what I'm saying? We got so fearful, you know. We got we got so fearful from that. Come on, man. I was raised in Tennessee. That's a patron state of. We just do it. Ain't at nobody. Trees, phone books. I got a lot of my best training from my dad. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I learned how to, man. My, my dad didn't teach me how to fish, but I learned, man. My dad learned me how to just basic stuff, man. How to fix stuff around the house. How to, man, just be handy. And a lot of a lot of our young men have gotten away from that, man. And like baiting a hook, I've had I've been around youngsters, man, that try to show them, man, how to bait a hook, man, how to you know cast a line out there. You may one day you might know you, you one day you might need this, man. And with all that said, youngster, if you watch, we've come to a time you might need to know that, how to bait a hook, how not to have to go to the store to get bait. Worms in the ground, that's why they call them earthworms. Crickets, grasshoppers, whatever fish will bite, you can eat out here. But if you didn't listen, you're gonna have to you gotta learn now. So you know. Google it. But uh you still gotta touch it. You wanna eat. I don't know. That stomach touched that back hard enough. Ain't no problem. I have confidence you'll learn. You'll get it. You'll get the hang of it. But van life has taught me anything. If it's taught me anything, it's taught me uh, the basics. I don't need much in life. and I can still have a great life. Man, I'm finna do some fishing. It's about right. Got my bait. I went to the store and got it. But, hope you got something out of this video. And we're, we're in a time, guys time to cut down, cut down to the basics, cut down to only what you need, because man, we got, the situation is, and the people in charge of the situation is, so, for your own peace of mind,
if you had to get out here, keep watching the videos. Cut it down, you don't need that much. Find out what you need, cut it down to that. If you need to move in your vehicle, do so. And uh, yeah, I don't need to go any further. Other than that, I'll be rambling.